All right, here we go. Check in for the end of our third week of class, uh, which means we only have one week left, Grim 11, woohoo! So summer school's almost over. And um, today is Friday, June, <laughs> something, June, I think it's the 12th. I think it's Friday, June 12th. Um, checking in. So um, first and foremost, research papers. I have been reading them and I was so excited. Last night I was like, I wrapped it up with 20 papers left and um, woke up this morning and I had 21. What the heck? One of you, somebody snuck something in there somehow. I haven't figured it out yet, but anyway, so I'm gonna read those today. Um, it's my favorite thing to do, as you all know. Um, so um, let's see, um, research papers will be done by the end of the day today. They'll be read and um, so I put comments on most of them. Um, so if I put a comment on it, I'm not necessarily asking you to redo it because I don't have time to reread 62 papers. So, um, you know, comments are just there for future reference. Um, most of you did a, a pretty good job with the research papers. They were well written. Um, the thing that I probably saw the most of was that you didn't exactly follow like the syllabus, like the assignment. Uh, and it was not just one or two of you, a lot of you um, didn't really answer what I asked uh, for you to answer in the syllabus. So I don't know it, it, if it were just one or two of you. I don't know. I, I assign the same paper every semester. Um, and typically people do have issues with that one um, individual causes of delinquency. But anyways, for what it's worth, um, I think everyone, almost everyone turned it in. Um, I have never had a class where absolutely everybody one week before the class is over is passing. You guys have been phenomenal with keeping up. Uh, I have never had a class like this before. Um, so I am ridiculously proud of you. With all the other craziness that's going on in the world right now, you guys have done an outstanding job at keeping up on your schoolwork. So um, I'm appreciative and I'm glad because I, I hate to see you know us waste time, you waste time. Um, you don't need to be at City College for three years like I was. Um, and that's true, by the way. But anyways, um, so good job. I'm, like I said, super impressed. I think you guys are doing fabulous. So I'm really impressed with that. Um, the reaction paper is due tonight. Uh, a lot of you have done it. If you haven't done it, um, or if you haven't even watched the video yet, get ready, because it's pretty depressing. Um, why do I make you watch this video? I make you watch this video because this is reality in the juvenile world. It's reality in the world in general. There are sex offenders everywhere. Uh, I think that we as a society um, either are good at, at hiding that fact from ourselves or I, I don't know, uh, but they are everywhere. There are sex offenders everywhere, juvenile sex offenders everywhere. Um, and uh, I, I think it was this was an eye-opener for a couple of you who actually reached out and said, whoa, I hadn't considered that this is something I might have to deal with if I end up working with youth. Yeah, it's absolutely something you'll have to, you'll end up dealing with. Um, I had quite a few different sex offenders that I dealt with throughout my time um, as a probation officer. So yeah, um, so it, what they're talking about in this video that you just watched, the, uh, the documentary, uh, that's real. It's real life. It, it, it happens in Fresno too. It's not just in, was it Illinois? Pendleton? I don't know. I, I think it was, I don't know. I don't even remember what state it was in. I've only watched the documentary like 4,000 times. You think I'd know. But anyways, so um, it's an eye opener and I, I had you watch that for a reason. Um, there's a lot. I ask you a lot of questions for a reason. I have you watch that privilege race for a reason. I want you to think. Um, this is not about memorizing what you can memorize out of the book. This is about opening your eyes to other people's perspectives and to sometimes harsh reality. So that's kind of what I think college is all about, right? I mean, I don't know. So anyways, um, next week is it. So uh, I think quiz three, I'm not sure what day quiz three, quiz three is due. I think it's due tomorrow. I don't know. It's due soon. Uh, I posted it a couple days ago. We'll still have quiz four and the final exam. 
Um, and I'll be posting stuff probably ahead because a lot of you have been working ahead and uh, probably works better for you. So uh, this weekend I should be posting the rest of the chapters for uh, the, the uh, PowerPoints under modules uh, with the lecture. And then I will be posting quiz four and the final exam. Again, please remember, I don't have a lot of flexibility once the class ends. Um, I can work with you during the class, but after June 19th, I, my flexibility goes away. And not because of me, but like literally I have to turn grades in and stuff. So um, if you're behind, which very few of you are, which is the, again, phenomenal. If you're behind, get caught up this week. Uh, take some time this weekend if you need to, to get caught up uh, because I don't wanna see any, no one should fail this class and right now, uh, first time ever, I don't think anyone, no one is. Fingers crossed. Let's keep it up. Um, so I will probably, I guess, so why do a video next week? I don't know. I probably will just because I'm weird like that. Um, so uh, if you have questions, concerns, issues, um, you know, continue to let me know. Um, we will still be doing discussion questions all the way up until I think the last day. Um, it's in your syllabus. So um, Otherwise, keep moving forward. You guys are doing fabulous. Um, you know, be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, and um, happy weekend. Woohoo!